everyone. This is Roki. Welcome to MathKey. Today, we are going to talk about an important topic in mathematics, fractions. So, what is a fraction? By definition, a fraction is simply a part of a whole. Suppose we have this chicken pizza, and we decide to divide this pizza into two places. Then, either the first part or the second part is a fraction of the whole pizza. Again, if we also decide to divide this pizza into four equal places, then each piece of this pizza is the fraction of the whole pizza. So here is a question for us to answer. How do we express each piece of this pizza as a fraction of the whole pizza? Already this pizza has been divided into four places. One, two, three, and four. So all we have to do here is to express each piece as one out of four. So the first piece is written as one over four. That's one out of four. The second piece is also written as one out of four. The third piece is written as 1 out of 4. And of course, the last piece is written as 1 out of 4. That is to say, each piece of this pizza is 1 over 4 of the whole pizza. So, here is another way of representing a fraction. Okay? Um, if you look at this very well, this is a rectangular figure that is made up of 10 square units. Let's say we have some part of the unit shaded. Apparently, several parts have been shaded. So if we want to write this several parts as a fraction of the whole rectangle, all we have to do is to write this as 7 out of 10. Again, if we have some other parts shaded, this time around, 4 parts have been shaded. So we have 4 out of 10. Alright? Note that in a fraction, the number on top is called the numerator, while the number under is called the denominator. So there are three main types of fractions, the proper fractions, the improper fractions, and the mixed fractions. So what is a proper fraction? By definition, a proper fraction is a type of fraction whose numerator is less than the denominator, or a fraction whose denominator is greater than the numerator. For example, the fraction 7 out of 10 is the proper fraction because the numerator which is 7 is less than the denominator which is 10 all right also the fraction 5 out of 8 is a proper fraction because the numerator which is 5 is less than the denominator which is 8 okay so in any proper fraction the numerator is always less than the denominator other types of proper fractions are 1 over 8 4 over 15 5 over 12 and so on so what is an improper fraction by definition, an improper fraction is a type of fraction whose numerator is greater than the denominator or a type of fraction whose denominator is less than the numerator. For example, um, if we consider our former fraction 7 out of 10, which is a proper fraction, we can convert this fraction to an improper fraction by swapping the position of both the numerator and the denominator. All we have to do here is to first of all bring in our line of division and then swap the position. So the fraction 10 out of 7 becomes an improper fraction because the numerator is now greater than the denominator. Other examples of improper fractions are 9 over 7, 5 over 3, 4 over 3, 18 over 11. So these are all examples of improper fractions. So what is a mixed fraction? A mixed fraction is just a type of fraction that is made up of a whole number and a fractional part, usually a proper fraction. For example, the fraction two whole number, three out of four, is a mixed fraction because it is made up of a whole part, which is two, and a fractional part, which is three over four. Again, if we wish to represent this fraction with our pizza, it means we're just going to have the following. That means two whole pizzas plus three out of four of a whole pizza that is divided into four equal places. Other examples of mixed fractions are eight whole number, two out of five, nine whole number, four out of seven. If you want to see more videos like this, do not forget to smash that subscribe button down there and turn on your notification for recent uploads. Thanks for watching. See you in our next video. Bye.